hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial uh, in today's video we are going to study about binary subtraction using 2s complement concept in the previous video we discussed about the binary subtraction using 1s complement so in this video we are going to discuss the same thing but with 2s complement concept okay so let us take an example suppose we have to perform the subtraction operation 15 minus 6 is equal to 9 so we can write this uh, this expression as 15 plus minus 6 okay so in a way we have converted this subtraction operation using 2s complement into modified addition okay so this number minus 6 we will represent it using 2s complement and we have to perform the addition of the binary form of 15 and binary form of minus 6 okay and that the result which we will get it will be 9 in binary form okay so now 15 can be represented in binary form as 0 0 0 0 we are using 8 bit format 1 1 1 1 okay this is 15 for minus 6 we have to use the 2s complement conversion uh, process so first we have to write plus 6 okay plus 6 is equal to means in binary form it is 0 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 okay this is in binary form now in 2s complement it can be represented as 0 1 we will copy the bits starting from the LSB side until we reach the first one bit we will copy the bits as it is then we will take the 1s complement of the remaining bits here up to this bit we will copy it as it is because this is the first one starting from the right hand side from this side from the least significant bit side so we will copy it as it is up to this and the remaining will take the 1s complement 1 1 1 1 1 this is the 2s complement of this binary number this is the representation of minus 6 in 2s complement form i have already posted a video on how to represent signed binary numbers or negative integers using 1s and 2s complement system so you please check out those videos so you understand this in a better way unless uh, uh, you know it but still you check out that video uh, so that you understand this in a better way okay so this is minus 6 represented in 2s complement form now we have to perform the addition of these two binary numbers 15 plus minus 6 this is 15 and this is minus 6 and the result will be 9 okay so let us perform the addition of these two binary numbers so now you have to perform this addition operation this is 15 which is represented in binary form and this is minus 6 this which is represented using 2s complement system okay this is minus 6 this is 15 so we have to simply perform the addition so 1 plus 0 is 1 1 plus 1 is 0 with a carry of 1 okay, again 1 plus 1 is 0 with a carry of 1 1 plus 1 is 0 with a carry of 1 but this 0 is added with 1 so we get the value 1 so 1 plus 1 is 0 with a carry of 1 1 plus 1 is 0 with a carry of 1 so 1 again 0 with a carry of 1 so 1 0 
again a carry of one now there is another important concept this carry bit which is generated this final carry in case of one is complement what we did was that we added this carry to the lsp in one is complement this final carry if there is any final carry generated we used to add it to the lsb of the result this result we used to add it here but in case of 2s complement we will discard this carry we will neglect this carry okay we discard this carry bit in 1s complement we added it to the lsb here in 1s complement this carry used to be added here in the lsb but in 2s complement we will discard it we will ignore it so this is the final result okay 15 minus 6 is 9 and this here is also 0000100101 okay so 1001 in binary is 9 okay so our answer is correct so let us take another example and we perform the binary subtraction using 2s complement and see whether our answer is correct or not so let us take another example in which we will perform the binary subtraction of 16 minus 24 okay we know the result will be a negative integer because a higher magnitude number is subtracted from a lower magnitude number so we can write this uh, expression as 16 plus minus 24 is equal to minus 8 so here we have to represent this number minus 24 a negative integer a signed number using 2s complement concept now 16 okay in binary form can be written as 0 0 0 uh 1 0 0 0 0 2 0 1 2 3 4 yes this 16 which is represented in binary form okay 2 0 1 2 3 4 yes and we are using the 8 bit format here next we have to represent minus 24 using 2s complement so first we have to represent 24 in binary form it is 16 plus 8 so it will be 0 0 0 this is 16 next 8 0 0 0 okay Two plus zero, one, two, three. It is eight plus sixteen is twenty-four. Okay, this is plus twenty-four. Now, minus twenty-four is simply the two s complement of this binary number. Okay, uh, so we know how to convert a binary number into its two s complement form you start from the lsb side and you copy the bits as it is until you reach the first one so we will copy the bits as it is from the lsb side until this one bit so it is 1 0 0 0 and the remaining bits will take the one s complement it will be 0 1 1 1 okay One 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 zero one zero zero zero. This is the representation of minus twenty four in two s complement form. Now, what we have to do is that we have to perform the addition of these two binary numbers. Sixteen minus twenty four. Sixteen plus minus twenty four, and the result we'll see. It should be minus eight in two s complement binary form. Okay, so let us perform the addition. and check the result so now you have to perform the addition of these two 
binary numbers. This is the representation, binary representation of plus 16 and this is the binary representation of minus 24 using 2s complement. So, we will just add the two binary numbers and the result will be 0 plus 0 0, 0 plus 0 0, 0 plus 0 0, 0 plus 1 1, 1 plus 0 1, 0 plus 1 1, 0 plus 1 1, 0 plus 1 1. This is the result. Now, this result is in 2s complement form. It is a signed number in 2s complement form is a signed binary number using 2s complement form. The sign bit is 1, so it is a negative integer. Now, we have to determine its decimal value. Okay, so, I have already posted a video on how to convert a signed binary number using 2s complement concept into its equivalent decimal value. So, you please check out that video. So, now we have to determine the decimal value of this signed binary number. So, first we will write the individual bits 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and 3 zeros. Then we will attach the weight values 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3, 2 to the power 4, 2 to the power 5, 2 to the power 6, 2 to the power 7. Now, this MSB bit, okay, it has a weight value of 2 to the power 7. There, we have to attach a negative sign. We have to include a negative sign. That is the important step for conversion into decimal value. So, now we can write this as minus of 1 into 2 to the power 7 plus 1 into 2 to the power 6 plus 1 into 2 to the power 5 plus 1 into 2 to the power 4 plus 1 into 2 to the power 3 and the remaining are 0. So, this is equal to minus of 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8. Okay. So, this is equal to minus 128 plus 64 plus 32 96 plus 16 112 plus 8 120. So, it is equal to minus 8. So, this same as this. These two results are the same. So, our answer this expression 1111100 in 2s complement signed expression is correct. This is correct. And we just confirmed it here by converting it into decimal. Okay, so, this is all about the binary subtraction process using the concept of 2s complement. So, I want you to try on your own this operation. Okay. Both uh, the numbers you take as negative integers and you try it on your own and see whether your answer is correct or not. You try this minus 6 minus 8 okay, equal to minus 14. So, what you have to do? You can express it as minus 6 plus minus 8 okay, it will be minus 14. So, what you have to do? You have to represent minus 6 using 2s complement sign binary form, you have to represent minus 8 using 2s complement sign binary form, then you have to perform the addition. And the result you will get, you convert it into decimal form and see whether the value is equal to minus 14. So, you should get minus 14, it means your answer is correct. So, you try it 
uh, and see whether you get the correct answer or not okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much